Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn SonarCube integration for PHP project using GitLab CI. So here, firstly, here you can see, here I'm using droplet of digital ocean. So you can see here, this is Ubuntu droplet. And in Ubuntu droplet, we are going to install GitLab runner and PHP. Then, Secondly, here you can see this is my repository with the name PHP project. In my repository, I have few files. And here you can see this is PHP project. Then here you can see this is my SonarCube dashboard. And in my SonarCube da dashboard, here I have four projects. You can see the number of projects. So then now the first step is uh, we are going to install GitLab runner on our digital ocean droplet. So firstly, here you can see this is the official page of GitLab runner. Here, now we are going to install GitLab runner from here. So if you scroll down, here you can see the first step or uh, add the official GitLab repository for Ubuntu. Now we, we are going to copy the command. And here you can see. Here I'm using mobile stream to connect my Ubuntu terminal. Now it's done. Now clear the screen. And now the next step is install the latest version of GitLab runner. For Ubuntu, you can see the command. Now copy the command. So here I have already installed GitLab runner. Now, if you want to check the status of your GitLab runner, then run the command sudo gitlab hyphen runner status. So you can see service is running. Now, if you want to check the version of your GitLab runner, then you can run the command gitlab runner hyphen hyphen version. So you can see the details of your GitLab runner. Now clear the screen. Now the next step is, if you scroll down here, you can see the fourth step, register a runner. So before register runner, you need to run this command sudo vsudo. And here you can see in user privilege specification. So here we are going to add two lines here. Firstly, copy this line and then the first line for GitLab runner, GitLab hyphen runner, then okay. Then the second line for user, that means uh, your user Ubuntu. Now click on okay. Now it's done. Now clear the screen, uh, file and oh, sorry, save the file and exit. Now it's done. Now let's check the next step. So the next step is register runner. Before register runner, you need a repository. So here you can see I have repository with the name PHP project. And now we are going to register in runner. So if you scroll down, you can see the command for Linux. Here's the command. Now copy the command. And now we are going to register in runner. And here, it will ask enter the GitLab instance URL for example like this. So for that, firstly, you need to go to your repository, then settings, then CI CD. Then here, if you scroll down, you can see the runners. So click on expand. And if you scroll down, here you can see register the runner with this URL. So now copy the URL and paste here. Then registration token. So here the registration token. Now enter a description for the runner. So. My runner, then tags, 
then executor now runner registered successfully so let's check so refresh the page now if you click on expand here you can see our runner now sometime they give us error so the solution is click on edit then here check indicates whether this runner can pick jobs without tax then save changes so now it's done now let's check the next step now the next step is install php uh, so now firstly you need to install a required package on your system so firstly run this update command now we are going to firstly update our system package so clear the screen and now firstly we are going to update our system package so you can see the command to install uh to install php 8 on our ubuntu droplet now firstly clear the screen now it's done now clear the screen and now the next step is we are going to run this command so yeah it's also done now the next step is enable ppa so for that we are going to run this command enable pp and update the update the apt cache press enter to continue now it's done now clear the screen and now the next step is install php so copy the command and now we are going to install php on our ubuntu droplet so i can say yes now it's done now clear the screen and let's check the version of your our php so run the command php hyphen hyphen version the php hyphen v so you can see here our version now it's done now clear the screen and let's check the next step 
So the next step is download the sonar scanner. So for that, for that, firstly, we need to make a directory. So run this command. And then we need to inside this particular directory that we have just created. Then now we are going to download sonar scanner using wget command. So now it's done. Now clear the screen. And now the next step is install and unzip. If you don't uh, don't have that uh, zip zip package. Now it's done. And now we are going to unzip this uh, sonar scanner zip file. It's done. Then now we are going to move to this slash opt directory. Then he did the sonar scanner dot properties using this below command. And here we need to uncomment for two lines. First for this line and second. Now save the file. And exit. then second for the next step it's create a file to automate the require environment variable configuration so for that firstly we are going to create this file and in this file we are going to add these two lines then save the file and exit Then now use the source command to add the sonar scanner com command to path variable. Now it's done. Now to verify, you can run the command sonar hyphen scanner hyphen V. Then now now create a file in your repository with the name sonar hyphen project dot property and in this add this line so copy this line and now we are going to our repository and here click on repository then files and here we are going to add uh, sorry create new file with the name sonar properties now here click on this plus icon then new file enter your file name sonar hyphen proper project dot properties now here you can see sonar project keys so our project keys devops in php otherwise here just simply PHP project. Now commit changes. Now it's done. You can see the message. The file has been successfully created. Now the next step is add variables in your GitLab repository. So here you can see there are three variables. So firstly, go to your repository. Then here, if you scroll down, you can see the settings, then CI CD. And here we are going to add three variables. So here you can see the option variables. So click on expand, then add variable. So the first variable is sonar host URL. 
So here, copy your sonar cube URL and paste in value section, then remove a protect variable flag, then add variable. Then the second variable for sonar login, that means your username. Then third variable for sonar password. Now it's done. Now let's check the next step. Now the next step is create a .gitlab-ci.yml file. That means our pipeline using below command, sorry, using below code. Now click on repository, then files. Now here we are going to create our pipeline. So for that, firstly, click on this plus icon, then view file. Now here you can see our image that PHP latest, then variable then paths in sonar cache then script so in script you can see uh, the host url that uh, uh, we just uh, uh, add in our variable then sonar login then sonar password and uh, if you don't want this only tags then you can remove it. it's only tag for uh, the, the uh, this pipeline run for only main branch so you can see in comment or the name of your branch, main branch. So if you don't want, then you can remove. Now click on commit changes. Now it's done. Now let's check our pipeline. So here you can see, click on CICD pipeline. So you can see, you see it's running. So let's check. So wait for a few seconds. So you can see the message, job succeed. So let's check in our sonar cube. So you can see here, this is our sonar cube dashboard. So refresh the page and our project key name is PHP project. So let's check. Here you can see PHP project. And you can see here uh, it's passed. So it's done. So in this video, we have learned SonarCube integration for PHP project using GitLab CI. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps engine.